for the year 2014, problem 23. Now, what we're given here, this looks like a horrible mess. I almost didn't even try it. You know, it looks like there's too many unknowns. Uh, we're given X and Y as functions of a natural number and we're given N as a natural number. Y'all, that's same as a positive integer, a positive integer. Now, we're also given this relationship between X and Y. Uh, and then we're supposed to find the value of n right here. So let me, we are attempting to find the value of n. And it's kind of surprising, but there is enough information given. I, it didn't seem that way to me. Now, one thing to note, and it's not going to come up for just a, a little bit, they are reciprocals of each other. Notice that x and y are reciprocals. They're just they're the very same thing. There are multiplicative inverses. And so you can write that as X is equal to one over Y or Y is equal to one over X. It's symmetrical, so it doesn't make any difference. Now, it's hard to know where to start. At first, I tried to just work with this quadratic and you could get a quadratic just in X, but that didn't, you had a big irrational part to it. So I decided to go ahead and do the standard trick of rationalizing these denominators. And that just means get rid of any radicals that are in the denominator leaving an integer. Usually it's an integer, it could be a rational number. But in any event, that's what I did on this step right here. If you take a look, this is just A minus B. And we're just talking about upstairs here in the numerator, A minus B times A minus B. Right? And when it's written this way, probably to avoid any ambiguity, I should envelop this piece, right? This binomial in, in parentheses, okay? But if you take a look right here, this is just in the form a squared, right? You remove the radical minus 2ab, and you juxtapose n and n plus 2 here, properties of radicals. Oops, that's a 2 there, folks. Sorry, minus 2ab. And then... Uh, you know, that, again, my apologies, that's supposed to be two there, minus two AB, and then plus B squared. Notice B is actually root N in this context right over here. So when you square root N, you just get in. Now downstairs, you actually have an A plus B times A minus B going on right here. This, this part right here is actually Hopefully this is readable, uh, A plus B. Uh, a plus B times A minus B. This, right, this part right here is your A plus B. This part right here, A plus B. And then this piece right here would be A minus B. I don't know, it seems better to do it this way than just to write all the steps out and, and clutter things up. Although this is quite cluttered actually. But anyway, this would be equal to a squared minus b squared. Well known result, happens a lot. It's why you can do complex, uh, divide complex numbers. This, this needs to hold for the division of complex numbers to make very much sense. Now notice uh, a squared would be equal to uh, n plus two, right? Okay, again, over here, uh, oh, I lost my pencils. Hang on just a second, sorry. Okay, uh, all right, whoops. Keep losing the pencil. All right, so now again, y'all right here, uh, a squared, a squared. In this context, this part is your a, a squared is n plus two, right? And then uh, b squared would be minus n. Right. So you see how the ends cancel right here? These two ends cancel. And that's where this two comes from. You see right here, that's where this two comes from. Okay, so we got it rationalized. And it's usually easier to deal with something like this. Um, if you get it rationalized, at least you have all the radicals in the numerator and just a constant term in the denominator. Okay. Now I won't go through the steps, but something similar happened down right, happened here, very similar. I, I, I just left the step out steps out and I, I wrote down the result, okay? So these two results uh, are gonna be important on the next page. I'll go ahead and circle them. 
Okay, that result, and then that result, and I'm gonna have to erase all this anyway, but that's very important on the next section. And also, uh, X and Y being reciprocals is quite important. So again, the, the takeaway is that we need these two circled expressions on the next page, and then we'll exploit the truth of, of the reciprocal here. So let me clear this out. All right, and let's move along to the next page. Trying to move along to the next page. I guess you have to kill the pencil. Uh, let's see. All right, folks, so good enough. Now, so I wrote down the work. So this was another, another given right here, but notice that if you, uh, if you, if you, if X is equal to one over Y, so right here, this part would be, uh, let me come above here or below. This would be 26 times one over Y. Hope that's readable, folks. I'm kind of cramped in here. I didn't leave myself much space. Times Y, right? Again, X is equal to one over Y. You could have done it the other way also. Y is equal to one over X. Anyway, these cancel, and that's where this 26 comes from right here, this 26. Okay, and then it turns out when you, uh, let's see. What, okay, I just brought this down to the very next page, and what I did is subtracted the 26 from both sides to get the 1988. And it turns out at, at 14 divides 1988 to give 142. And so we end up with this result right here, x squared plus y squared is equal to 142. Now, these are the two circled results that I had on the previous page. I won't go back, but if this should look familiar. I'm sorry, I can't keep it all on the same screen. This is this one of the results we did by doing uh, multiplying through by the conjugate, top and bottom, and then uh, same, same thing for this result. And a very nice thing happens right here. Uh, see, this, this, whole right, this piece right here is A uh, minus B squared, and this is A, plus b squared, and all the mi middle terms cancel out, folks. In other words, again, this is uh, a minus b quantity squared. And I can be criticized, indeed, for not showing all these steps, but you can kind of see what's gonna happen here. The plus sign is the only difference right here, right? Everything else is the same. And so what happens, you'll have a minus, two times this, all this stuff, and then a plus two times all of the same stuff, which will just cancel. Okay, it's kind of nice, all right? And so what happens here, uh, when you expand this out, uh, you end up with this result right here. N plus one squared will happen twice, right? You'll have an N plus one squared happening from here when you square A. You'll have an N plus one squared happening here when you square A. So that's where the two N plus one squared happens. And also in a similar fashion, when you square this object, the radical just goes away, right? But there's two of them again. So that's where this comes from. You know, again, I, I don't know whether to apologize or, or just say that's the way it is, but it's just kind of some grinded out tedious algebra, noticing that the, 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 the cross terms will cancel out. One will be the opposite of the other, you know? And then from here, the rest of it's just getting it in quadratic form. Okay, you just get it in quadratic form when you expand this stuff out. And I tried to show a, a little bit of work here. Here you can divide by four. You get this expression right here. And it turns out it factors very nicely. Now notice here, uh, technically we would have had n plus seven equals to zero also. And that would say that n is equal to negative five, uh, but excuse me, n is equal to negative seven. But remember, if you read the original instructions, I may not have stressed it too much, only wanted the positive, uh, only wanted the positive value, okay? So even though negative seven is a solution, would be a solution if they asked for all integers, it just said, po it said positive integer solutions. So this is the answer, this circled object right here is the answer. Okay, y'all, I hope that was good. I, I don't like to go two screens, but this one was long enough where I had to use two screens. I hope that helped, please let me know anything I can do to make things clear. Appreciate it.